Hey, what's up you guys? This is Gabriel Vision Tune Lament here, and thank you for tuning in to your channel, Vision Tune Art World. I'm really glad that you decided to click on this video because in this video I will be showing you a quick technique for being able to do your own sketch work on a character design of your own that would be kind of cartoon or comic strip style. And so that's always a fun thing to be able to do. But before we get into the video, I will ask for you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel I always appreciate the subscriptions and then also go ahead and hit a like on this video So I know that you like the content that I'm presenting and then if you've got questions or comments or anything like that Please do so within this video I think that would be something great for me to be able to find out if you've got questions and be here as an aid for your artwork Now also I can be found on social media. I am on both Facebook as well as Instagram All you have to do is look up Gabriel Vision Tune Lamette. Again, that's Gabriel Vision Tune Lamette, and I can be found on Facebook and Instagram. So, without further ado, now that all that stuff is out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video so you can start your path to being able to create your own cartoon character, and it all begins with a sketch. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of make up a character kind of on the fly and give you guys a bit of um, step-by-steps steps on what I'm doing to describe how I'm doing this, and I hope this will help you out with uh, creating your own cartoon character. So I always start with the eyes. Um, to me, the eyes are the, um, the center of it all. Um, and especially because your facial expressions on a cartoon character um, really set the tone uh, before you do anything. And that would be, to me, before I even do the body. Now, some people, they go through and do the whole entire model uh, sketch within it. Um, I do that when I'm doing like my superhero type of things, but when it comes down to the cartoons, I kind of, uh, approach it a bit differently. So uh, again, what I do is I start by doing the eyes, the shape of the eyes that I generally enjoy doing because there are many types of eyes you can do within illustrating your cartoons. Um, you can do ones that are just circle or, you know, they've got the uh, just dots, you know, but when I'm doing the cartoon characters that I enjoy illustrating the most, I always start with the eyes and they're kind of like a, uh, a warp shaped tier almost, how they're small at the top and come to a point and then they get wider around the base. And so I always start there and then I go ahead and start to create what the inside of the eyes will look like and I always do double the circle plus a triple in there so I can get a nice glare in there. And so I've already got it set now where I've got the two circles here, uh, the one on the outside, the one on the inside. I've shaped it in and then I've put a little bit of the eye glare there and then just to bring a little bit of character and life to the actual eyeball itself I always do lines uh, that will kind of bring a little bit more character to it so then I follow the exact same model for the other eye where I have the two circles plus I have the glare there then I go on in and put a little bit of detail to it. Now, depending on what my facial expression ends up being, I'll sometimes put the eyelids in there, but for right now, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to want to do it that way. Now, the next thing I usually will start with is the nose of some kind. And so uh, there's always the oval kind you can do, so it's almost like balloonish or sometimes an upside down triangle or even sometimes a triangle where it's going in the opposite direction. And so I think for this one, we'll go ahead and I'll do um, a nose that is, it's almost shaped like a Hershey's Kiss a little bit. Um, but I'm able to go in and create one. And like I said, this could be flipped upside down so it's wider up top, smaller on the bottom. Um, there are kinds that you can do where you just do the base of the bottom of the nose with a hump on top. And so what I will do with this one, and again, I'm just creating this on the fly. I've gone ahead and put a, you know, a top of the nine on my nose here for this area. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is just go ahead and, uh, 
shade this in a little bit and I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for a glare. I have always liked being able to have some type of glare within my drawings so that you get a little bit more character to your character, no pun intended, man. So then after that, I go in and I'll start where I want the smile on the character to be. And so this is gonna be the part that's gonna actually connect to the lips. And so I'll always do one here and then one to give it a bit more expression because with cartoon drawing, um, expression is everything. Um, I feel like the term animation or animate is because you are showing animated features to whatever you're doing. And so that kind of hits home on the concept of when you're drawing the facial expression of your actual cartoon character. See, so as you already see, I was able to establish the line here for the smile, the other part that will kind of show the spotlight of how the cheeks will be on this character. And then from here, I've already created the top uh, portion of the lip. Now, one thing that we can maybe do is go ahead and look to finish out the mouth on this guy. He's super expressive and super happy. As you can see, he's got a very big wide base mouth. And so there are a couple of ways that I can take this drawing from this point. I could do it where I just do teeth so that I do lines on each side here, or I can have it where his mouth is actually open because he's just really happy. So I'm gonna do it with his mouth actually open and I'm gonna create his tongue down here. For me, drawing tongues have been kind of easy. I always do one hump and then I connect it with another hump to it. And then what I can do to go ahead and bring this in, I can actually put some teeth in here if I so choose, and that's what I'm gonna do. I think I will go ahead and put at least an upper row of teeth. And then to kind of bring this all together, I'll go ahead and shade that on in. So now we've got a guy that's looking at you and smiling as you can see here. Then what we do is I always do the bottom of the lip because the bottom of the lip, depending on the character that I'm creating, um, I want to make sure that I have a base of where the chin is going to go. And so for me, it always starts off with where I allow the bottom of the lip to fall within the artwork itself. So now that I've gotten the bottom of the lip, I'm going to go ahead and bring in an actual side of the face and cheek feature here. So I've done it there. It's now lapsed into where his bottom lip is. And that's the wonderful thing about being able to create your own cartoon character. Technically, you set your own rules. When you look at the different types of drawings and animation that are out there uh, within the industry, um, they all have their own particular style. So there's not really a big base of, oh, you've got to follow these rules when it comes down to you creating your cartoon. No, it's whatever your creation and imagination is going to make for you. So anyway, now that we've gotten past that portion, now I'm going to start to establish what his eye structure will end up being. And I'm going to give this guy some pretty good defined uh, eyebrows. So if he was doing something, if he was squinting, then this gives me an opportunity to know, okay, he's going to have facial features that if he was upset, you can really see it in his brow based on the fact that he does actually have nice um eye shape and more character to it and so i've got him just real happy and base i don't know what happened maybe he found out there's a cure for the virus going on right now and now no one has to be uh, quarantined at home i think we would all be looking like this guy at that point so now i'm gonna go ahead and finish out the structure of his head now you can get as creative as you would want to get with doing that um i think i'm just gonna kind to go all the way out on this and uh, give him a little bit of sideburns here. And so I've got his sideburns starting to show and it's falling right upon his cheek line. 
uh, creating his sideburn there, which is going to have it round around his cheek there. And then starting with his shape of his actual hair itself. So now I've got him kind of what I like to call like the Batman's peak there on his hair. So it kind of comes together. Then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some ears, but I'm gonna give him big ears. And ears, they're always kind of a tricky thing depending on uh, the position that you have him in. But for him, he's looking straight forward at you. So it really doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and do a half circle with another kind of half circle that goes right in line with the shape of your ear. Then we do the exact same thing for this side where we have our starting point at the bottom. <clears throat> And then it'll go all the way to the top where his uh, top of his sideburn is. And then give him a little bit of a line here that'll bring around the shape of his ear. So this guy is kind of coming along really cool. I think what I'll do is give him a little bit of an afro. I don't know why I'm deciding to do an afro, you guys, but this guy is asking for it, so I'm gonna give it to him. He's speaking to me. So I'm gonna give him a bit of a nice, well-groomed afro. He definitely doesn't have the dolomite afro from back in the days, but he's definitely got his afro on point. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and shade him on in for his afro. I wish I had some 70s music going with this. All right. So now we've got him on in there. He looks excited to be a part of the world finally. But now we're going to go ahead and bring him in base with having an actual body itself. And what I'll do is I'll do something really simple that'll be easy for you to follow along with. So I'm going to go ahead and establish him with a neck. Now, many cartoon characters, they usually will go with a really skinny, thin neck. But I'm going to give this guy a little bit of um, weight to his body and to his neck. So I've given him just a bit of a base of a neck here that you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start on his arms. Now again, with cartoons, you can get as creative and as flexible as you want. You don't have to have perfect anatomy to doing cartoons, or at least that's how I take it when it comes down to doing any types of cartoon drawings. So I've done it where his arms are just a little bit short and stubby. He doesn't have a whole lot, so he definitely won't be dunking on LeBron James anytime soon. And so I'm gonna just go with a shape. This guy is extremely excited. During hard times, this guy is happy to be alive just like the rest of us. And so I've started with the shape of what he's going to look like as far as his expression. So I've done a curvature line here, then I've rounded that out there as you can see, and now, I'm going in and giving this just a little bit more life and body. And so go ahead and follow along as I'm doing this. And then rounding it out, oops, lost something there. And then rounding it out at the bottom for his shirt. All right. Now, one thing I will do is give this guy a little bit of a collar type of thing. He's gonna have a really big, thick collar. I think they won't be selling this inside of stores because this collar is extremely big. But again, that's where it does not matter. Get as creative as you want. Don't lock yourself into something has to look a certain or particular way. So now I'm gonna go and get go ahead and give him a little bit of raveled up sleeves. And so you wanna kind of make sure whatever your positions are when you're drawing more of the details into your cartoon character, you wanna make sure they're going in the same direction. So in other words, what I mean by that is I've got it kind of going there. It looks like a hot dog almost a little bit that's kind of bent. You wanna make sure that everything is going in the same direction. You wouldn't want it to go in that direction. You want everything going 
in the same direction so that you end up with the same effect and it starts to make a little bit of sense. So again, with this one, as you can see, I'm going in and I'm doing this here and now I'm kind of making my double hot dog here again, but the hot dogs are bending in the same direction. See, so now you've got it kind of going on that end there. And then what we'll do is we'll start to put his hands in place. So I always start, and hands are kind of difficult to do at times. I know I struggle. I still have a book that I'm now referring to just in case I get kind of stuck on the positioning of a hand properly. And there are lots of things you can purchase for that. There are books as well as there are um, models. They're like wood models that'll have the hand so you can do the different positionings and things like that. Um, so you can do that to be able to kind to bring it together but with this I'm doing something that's kind of simple that I've been doing for years so I won't need any assistance on that so I've started with a thumb here and then I'm gonna go in and start to put his fingers in and I'm just gonna give him three fingers um, here we go so we've got now all three fingers for our guy here And so he's, his hands are looking a little bit funny. Let me go ahead and edit this because see, that's where you want your positioning of things to uh, always come together. And see, that's one of the reasons why I do these uh, type of tutorials because you get to see the mistakes that any artist can be able to make, but also how you can correct them. So I've started with his smaller finger there and I'm bending it in the opposite direction. Now that makes a bit more sense for him. Now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this end, starting with the thumb, giving it the line of where the fingers are gonna fall, and then going in and creating his actual fingers themselves. There you go. Now his hands, they're super duper excited and he is just ecstatic. I, again, I wonder what in the world got this guy so happy. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give just a little bit more details to the actual collar itself. And then the next thing I'll do is just give his shirt a little bit more shape. so he's just not as flat. And then I think I'll crop off his sweater here. There we go. So now, you've got you a cartoon character there. And so what I will do is I'll go ahead and give him a little bit of eye, you know, eyelids here. So then that all comes together rather nicely. And then what I'll do is, because I love being able to do this to my drawings, then I'm gonna go in and start to use some of my tools here to be able to blend this a bit better. So it's not as showing as much lines as it was showing before for me to be able to fill in some of those areas. And with this, you can get a bit creative. There aren't, uh, when doing the cartoon characters, at least the way I do them, there's not solid rules to this. You can just go with the direction of the artwork itself. So I'm following around his cheek line there to be able to bring it together, let his eyes blend a little bit better. Then going into his thick, thick, huge collar for his neck. And then going in and just kind of going with the direction of his actual sweater. And 
then if you have shaded your character just a little bit too much, that's where you can go in with your eraser and just hit certain areas so then things can become white in the areas that you want them to. So like his teeth would be a perfect place for that. And now you've got the tongue there and there we go. We've got our artists, you know, our artwork character. So then you go ahead and hit it with your signature. Always go ahead and look to date it and then go ahead and name them. And I think I'll just name this guy Jab. Don't ask me what it means, but that's just what I was thinking. This is Jab and Jab is ready to meet you guys and get into his cartoon style. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and go ahead and leave a comment if you would like and definitely subscribe to the channel because I'll have different types of tutorials just like this coming. Um, and I love being able to hear from you guys. Again, don't forget, look for me on social media. Uh, I'm on Facebook as well as on Instagram and that's under Gabriel Vision Tune Lamet. So again, thank you guys for tuning in and I will be seeing you guys later and as always thumbs up